Deep within the palace of Paroxysmus, a festering citadel of decay and despair, lies one of Ultima Online's most grotesque and formidable peerless bosses, Chief Paroxysmus. A monstrous embodiment of poison and pestilence, Paroxysmus is both a terror to behold and a relentless foe to overcome. His bloated, oozing form is a grotesque testament to his dominion over disease and decay. His mere presence spreading death to all who dare enter his realm. The dungeon itself mirrors its master, filled with acidic rivers, corrosive traps, and grotesque creatures serving as grim sentinels to his throne. At the heart of his menace lies Paroxysmus' mastery of poison. His very breath is lethal, capable of spreading an area-wide poisonous aura that affects all adventurers in range. This attack bypasses the protection of orange petals, demanding constant vigilance and the frequent use of arch cure spells, greater cure potions, or a high level of healing and anatomy to heal through the poison. As if this were not enough, his melee strikes often carry deadly poison, and his ability to summon his enemies directly to his side ensures that no one is ever out of his reach. What truly sets him apart, however, is his ability to consume pets and summons, instantly restoring himself to full health, even from the brink of death, rendering traditional tamer strategies nearly impossible. It is strongly recommended to leave pets at home and instead utilize ethereal mounts for the task. To enter the palace, an acid-proof rope must be acquired either by crafting it with a carpenter recipe, or simply purchasing one from Lucius the Adventurer, who is near the entrance of the dungeon, which has a short timer on it. The palace is available on both facets, and on the Faloka side there are much higher densities of mobs, in particular around the end of the cave system, however there is also a 1000 passive luck bonus. Reaching Chief Paroxysmus is a challenge in itself. Adventurers must first gather keys from the palace's corrupted inhabitants, including corrosive slimes and the fearsome putrefier. The keys collected from corrosive slimes are a skull, a torso and legs, and it's a good idea to add these to auto-loot lists once found. Corrosive slimes must be fought with weapons that have spell channeling, otherwise weapons will suffer rapid durability loss due to the acid. Otherwise, a pet or summon should be used. The slimes are easily located near the dungeon entry, near the center, or in the southern corner, and other mobs are best passed by. While traversing the dungeon, be wary to not linger too long on the rivers of acid. The acid won't do damage if otherwise passed over at any point throughout the dungeon. The Putrefier is a green Balron located in the southwest corner, and he holds the final key, the Spleen of the Putrefier, which is small and easy to miss. The Putrefier uses an area poison gas attack and hits fairly hard and is immune to poison damage. Once all keys have been collected, run through the final cave passage to the northeast toward the cauldron, trying to avoid passing through mobs, otherwise stamina loss may result in being overwhelmed by demons. The collected keys are dropped in the cauldron which creates the peerless keys, a protective ointment that enables players to cross the otherwise lethal rivers of acid separating the final river before Paroxysmus Island. Only one player may cross at a time, and the next must wait 30 seconds before approaching the gate and so on. Once across, the true battle begins and strategy is paramount. It is recommended to deal with the chief's helpers first, which can be difficult to separate from their master. Strategic use of hiding can possibly help. As a samurai, it's also important to honor him before starting battle to maximize damage and use enemy of one. Melee fighters excel in this fight, relying on healing to counteract the constant poison and heavy melee damage. Mages provide essential support with healing and curing, while ranged fighters must tread carefully. The good thing about fighting the chief is that he does not cast spells, including curse as Paroxysmus' teleportation ability ensures no one can remain distant for long. For those who conquer the chief, the rewards are as grotesquely fascinating as the battle itself. Among his potential treasures are decorative items like Paroxysmus' dinner and the corroded stein, trophies that echo the twisted nature of his lair. For adventurers seeking power, the chief drops rare and coveted items, including the scepter of the chief, a weapon brimming with lethal attributes, and the lard of Paroxysmus, a key ingredient for crafting powerful artifacts, such as the elven composite longbow fairy fire, or the blight-gripped longbow. Most sought after is the Paroxysmus Swamp Dragon statuette, 
summoning a mighty bonded swamp dragon equipped with unbreakable armor. A prize as rare as it is formidable. And of course, peerless reagents can also be collected, essential ingredients for crafting certain artifacts. Chief Paroxysmus is more than just a boss. He is a test of endurance, preparation, and teamwork. His lair, teeming with danger, and his unpredictable abilities push even seasoned players to their limits. Yet, for those who can overcome the grotesque lord of poison and pestilence, the spoils and the satisfaction of victory are unparalleled. In the end, Paroxysmus is not only a symbol of Ultima Online's most challenging content, but also a grim reminder of the balance between reward and risk in the ever-evolving world of Britannia.